Hello everyone, welcome to week two and your assignment. So this is your first assignment. As a reminder, the, um, every other week is gonna shift. So the first week that we had was a discussion post and a journal entry based upon information that you are being presented to in your textbook. Um, I know that some of you didn't get your textbook yet, that's okay. Um, the things that are gonna be presented to you in the discussion post and or journal entry are just gonna reference your textbook so you don't necessarily need it to answer the questions, but it's a good resource. On the opposite weeks, or on the even weeks I like to refer to, you're going to have assignments that are directly going to relate back to whatever we discussed in the discussion post and journal entry. So you're not going to find the answers to these uh, assignment questions necessarily in your book. So please don't use that as a source um, to look for a, a quote-unquote answer. So the assignments are always going to take on generally, generally the same format. So, for example, this week you are going to find, you are going to go out and actively look for on the internet because we are kind of limited to where we can, what we can and cannot do in, you know, the present day. Um, you're going to go out actively on the internet and you're going to look for um, an art or artist or an artifact that you find controversial to your beliefs of what art is. So last week we, um, <laughs> sorry. My dog. Um, last week we defined and we took a lot of time to really look at what um, could be art and I really pushed you to find your own definition of what art is. You were presented with three case studies. Those case studies really were controversial in nature. Some of you may have agreed with it being controversial and kind of allowed you to push your like thought processes to, you know, is this really art? Is this really, could this really be considered art? And some of you felt completely into line and, and saw the possibilities in the perspective and appreciated what that artist or um, work of art stood for or tried to accomplish. So essentially this week what you're going to be doing is you are going to go out and you're going to find your own controversial work of art. Um, and you are going to align it with what your beliefs are. And essentially what you're looking for in this controversial work of art is the good or the respect in it. You're trying to place yourself into the artist's shoes um, and trying to understand their perspective of what they were trying to accomplish. So you don't necessarily, you may not necessarily agree with it, that's art, but what you're trying to do and what you're going to talk to me about is how you understand it to be art. Now, sometimes that's going to be very, very difficult to do because there's a lot of artwork out there um, that's going to really push your beliefs. So for example, um, the artist Duchamp presented a urinal as a work of art. To this day, um, I still have a hard time wrapping my head around it, but after a lot of um, insight and a lot of um, investigation into the artist himself and the art movement of what was going on in the world around um, him during that time period, I can definitely understand and appreciate it. And that's actually kind of shifted my thought process and beliefs as an artist. Um, I'm now a, an artist that kind of um, holds all objects in the respect of it being art at one time. So if you present me with a chair or a table, chair or table that I'm sitting on right now, at one point in time, um, that design was a work of art. Someone had to actively think about that as a functional work of art and a design had to be constructed and created um, and then innovated to then be mass produced into something um, on a regular basis. So um, I'm looking for you to go out and find your own desk or your own chair. It's something that's very controversial in nature. Um, again, like I said, in the 21st century, now that art, the art world has been so saturated with many different ways to create art, um, controversial artwork is really not going to be that hard to find. Um, and what I'm looking for you to do is I'm looking for you to um, discuss with me what the artwork is, how it falls or does not fall in line with your beliefs and then how you can find appreciation or respect for that artist or art piece of art um, based upon either the process the artist went through, the time period of which it was going on in or created in um, so that we can start shifting our perspectives just a little bit. Now um, every 
semester I get this as a question um, and I'm going to try my best to explain it. But again, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to reach out and talk to me and ask me any questions you have. But um, we do live in the 21st century. This is an online class at this point in time. So feel free to present this assignment any way that you feel comfortable. So a lot of times people um, will create a Word document. They will attach the image into the Word document and then simply write about it. Um, some people also feel compelled to do a video clip, like a Screencastify, if you're familiar with that. If you're not, it's a very easy platform to use, and essentially what you're doing is, is as long as you have video capacity on your computer, you are able to um, uh, do a screen presentation and you're able to record your screen and um, you can also have a clip of yourself talking um, and it'll upload as a YouTube video and you can um, upload that into the assignment section as well. Um, some people have done um, uh, presentations in um, two different capacities. Some people have done um, a video presentation and then attached an image of the artwork with the video pr presentation, um, essentially two different attachments. Whatever you feel comfortable with um, is fine with me. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. And so you, ha you will have a week long to complete this assignment. This will be due next Sunday um, by midnight. I hope I look forward to seeing what everybody uh, comes up with for week two.